At least 15 Palestinians were injured during clashes with the Israeli forces in the village of Safa near the West Bank city of Al-Khalil after neighboring Israeli settlers rampaged through the village and injured eight Palestinian inhabitants, one of them critically. The Palestinian youth threw stones and Molotov cocktails at the Israeli settlers who descended on the village since the early morning hours. Eyewitnesses said the Israeli settlers who came from the settlement of Beit Ain were backed by the Israeli soldiers. This is not the first time those extremist Israeli settlers come to our village. They are very violent and armed. Israeli soldiers provide security for them at our expense. Israeli military sources say soldiers were deployed on the rooftops of some buildings in the village in an attempt to stop any possible fights between Palestinians and Israeli settlers. The settlers say their attack on Tuesday was in retaliation for the killing of a 16-year-old settler from Beit Ain settlement by a Palestinian who they believe was hiding in Safa village. The mayor of Safa said many people had to lock themselves in for hours for fear of attacks by settlers. They claim they come for revenge. Well, then why did they attack us several times even before the killing of the settler? Our village is one of the targets for the Israeli settlers and the Israeli army. Many international human rights groups have condemned the continuous Israeli settlers' attacks against Palestinians in the West Bank and demanded Israel take quick action to stop such attacks against Palestinians. Israel allowed the Palestinian Authority to deploy over 500 Palestinian security guards in Al-Khalil in a deal signed last year. Despite this, the Israeli settlers' attacks never stopped, and the Israeli restrictions were not lifted. Sari Al-Khalili, Press TV, Al-Khalil.